Hi there, I'm Sue Alexander, and this is my video of my recent state um, short story box received March of 2023. So let's get into it. Comes in a pretty peach colored box. In it, you get a little note, your price sheet. You do get five days to decide what you wanna keep. Whatever you don't keep, you send back. There's no shipping costs either way. You send it in priority envelope, so you don't have to worry about finding something to box it up in or bag it up in. They write a little story to you telling you about what they're sending and uh, some brief pictures of just models in the different pieces and they describe it. So they do send five pieces based on your profile. It is a box for petite women like myself. All right, this one is my... 31st box. Yes, 31 different boxes. 31 different shipments over a period of years. Um, you select the frequency that you want, and uh, that's how they'll send it to you. So let's get into it. Um, they say, they see I will be traveling soon and need some new pieces. So this was her mission for the chapter. My stylist is Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any waterproof jackets in stock. However, I did have this comfy canvas marine jacket for you to try. Now, the thing is, I am going to London for three days and then a cruise to the British Isles after that, the first week of June, but it will still be quite chilly in, you know, those, those countries like, you know, Ireland and Scotland and everything. So I do have lots of jackets. I have jean jackets. I have exercise jackets, I have winter coats, but I didn't have a waterproof jacket. That's really all I need. So this jacket that they sent, I have no need for it. So it will definitely be going back, but I'll show you a picture of it. So I'm going to start with actually the only bottoms they sent, which is a pair of pants. Uh, they are by Layla Jade, it's called the Stella Ponte Pant, and it is petite. It's just knit, uh, you pull it on, uh, knit waistband, side pockets, which I do not like, and I think I've expressed that in my notes, but maybe not properly. Um, when you have pockets that are straight down, like say in the jeans that I have on, oops, I don't know if you can see it. They're just straight down, that's fine. Back pockets, that's fine. But when they come on the side seam, they pooch out. And since I have weight on me now that I eventually will get off, um, they pooch out a little bit. So I don't like, very rarely do I like pants with the pockets on the, created on the side seam like that, that kind of stick out. And I'll show you this picture of the, I tried these on. All right. So here, the pocket sticks out and you really can't tell a little bit, but they're too clingy on me and there's extra fabric here and they're a little too snug actually, but um, I don't care for them that much that I wanna see if I can get one size larger. Um, they just puckered right here and the pocket stuck out. So for that reason, I'm not keeping them, plus they were $68 and um, I can find pants locally that I like better for that price, if not cheaper. All right, on to the next piece, which is going to be called the Alabama Tea by a company called Gentle Fawn, and it's in the gunmetal green. To me, it just looks like a basic light gray, and I'll show you that picture. This I'm not keeping, it's too clingy. It's already wrinkled from the box. Gray is just not my color. I mean, I I do have gray pieces, but I don't feel my best in gray. So with that said, it's a no for me. That was called the Alabama Tea, it's just plain scoop neck. Um, and it was $48. So that's a going back. Next piece is going to be the Marine canvas jacket, and that's by a company called Great and Gather, and it's in the color marine. Um, 
it's $68 also. I'm not keeping it to me. It just looks like an oversized denim shirt. It did fit. Doesn't do anything for me. I have no need for it. Here's a picture of that. So it's just, it has some po patch pockets in the front here. I have one hand in the pocket. You can't tell by the picture that I took. Um, but it's just like a denim shirt. It's just plain in the front. I like the denim jean jackets better. And I have one in white, one in hot pink, and two different shades of uh, denim blue and white. Did I say that? Um, anyway, no need for a jacket like that. I mean, it did fit me actually, but I doesn't do anything for me. All right, moving on. Uh, the next one is by Daniel Rain. Now with Daniel Rain clothes, I always thought that they, they were pricey. And they usually have like some kind of a lace detail. This one did not. And I'll show you a picture of this. Just a little split um, on the top. Sleeves are kind of like almost full, full length, but more, I guess, a three quarter. And uh, it's called a teal geo. Um, does, I wouldn't call it teal. It's more of a, it's a pretty blue, but... I just didn't care for it. Now, that was uh, $64. I don't like it enough for $64. If it was $25, I would probably keep it, but not for that price. It just it's like an old lady blouse. <laughs> I know I'm old, but, you know, I got to pretend, right? Okay, the final piece. Um, this I pondered over a lot. It's by a company called Vera Moda, which I've had in numerous things. I even bought a jacket from them recently. Um, I've worn it once. I have to make smarter decisions, right? Um, now, this is in a petite. The color is called Ponderosa Pine. Now, this I would call teal, actually. I'll show you a picture. It's called the Echo Lace, Echo Lace Sleeve V-neck Top by Vera Moda. Okay. I liked it. Okay. I don't like my arms that much. Has a little bit of lace here on the tops of the sleeves and it's a V-neck. Um, I thought the V was okay, but as I moved, I thought it might be a little bit too low for my comfort. And um, the lace is extremely pretty here. And it's just plain in the back. Like I said, it's teal colored. They call it Ponderosa Pine. But the price is what gets me. I really wanted to keep it. Um, I could apply my $25 uh, subscription fee to that, but I don't think I'd wear it enough. Just like the previous Viramoda coat that I bought that looks very nice on, but I just really didn't need it, and I kept it. I, that was a mistake. Okay. This price, $88. I liked it, and I would keep it probably, but I wouldn't wear it that much. I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with the V. Now, in this picture, it doesn't look that bad. But, and since I don't like my arms up here, old lady arms, and, um, I'm passing on that one. So unfortunately, this whole box, I really hate it, but it's no, no go for me. I do like the company short story box, and I've had luck with their pieces, sometimes only one. I don't think I've ever kept five, sometimes two or three. Um, but since I have so many stores locally, it's probably um, easier and uh, well, I have a great selection, so I can find things for less. And then since I work at JCPenney, I can get my 25% employee discount, and that really helps on top of sales. So I'm not used to paying $88 for a blouse. If I was made of money, I would pay $88 for a blouse, but I'm not made of money. So anyway, like I said, I'm sorry, short story. It's a no for me this month. But anyway, here is my link if you want. To, 
I can give you this referral and you will earn $25 to your, to your first box and I would earn $25. I'll hold this up to the screen if you can get it. It's fun to do. It's probably smarter for maybe an executive that can't get out or a stay-at-home mom that is hard for, hard for her to shop with her children, keep them in control, or maybe someone living in a rural, really rural area that doesn't have access to all the stores that I do have here in Metro Atlanta. So I love you short, short story box, but it didn't work this time. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day. And please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and leave me comments. I appreciate them. Don't give me really horrible comments. No, I'm just kidding. You can comment however you like. And uh, have a great day and even a better tomorrow. Bye.